Cuba accuses the United States of trying to destabilize the country. In a speech to the National Assembly, President Raul Castro says Cuba's recent detention of an American man shows the Obama administration is bent on regime change. The U.S. government has not renounced its goal of destroying the revolution, he says. The enemy is as active as always. Proof of that is the detention in the last few days of an American citizen. The U.S. State Department announced the detention a week ago. You know, I, I don't want to uh, comment on, on any of the details of this, what, what he may or may not have been doing, uh, uh, simply because we don't want to, uh, we don't want to cause any harm, frankly. The development group Development Alternatives, Inc. said the man was a subcontractor working on a project to support human rights and assist Cuban civil society. In his speech, Castro says the man was distributing sophisticated satellite communications equipment to dissidents. The president also accuses Washington of organizing protests to make it appear that the communist-run island is cracking down on opposition. He has a warning for dissidents. Solo recuerdo. I will simply remind you that there are people willing to protect at any price the conquests of the revolution, he says. I advise these and others to stop provocations of all kinds. Last week, a couple hundred government supporters surrounded a group of silent protesters commemorating International Human Rights Day. Their message was loud and clear. The streets of Cuba belong to Fidel Castro. Their target, Las Damas de Blanco, or women in white, the mothers, sisters and friends of jailed dissidents. Castro leaves no doubt that the honeymoon with President Obama is over. But he also repeats his offer to put any topic on the table for discussion. As for the jailed American, U.S. officials say they still haven't been granted access to him. Shasta Darlington, CNN, Havana.